My name is Robert Charles Ben III. This video is for the attention of State Bar Investigator Mr. Mark Harvey, as well as my former attorney Peter Lazan and his referral source Farzine Yagmai. I'm here at 222 North Hill Street. I only an old Yancey Mendez because she had cancer and I needed the financial support. And she didn't even know about the hearing. In 2019, I showed her all the documents that Peter submitted with her signature all over them. She had never seen them before. As we left, right here on this wall, like here's the sign, here's the cameras, and here's the wall. These two fellows found a pile of white envelopes unmarked and began opening them. There were stuff $100 bills, and they called it a random act of kindness and a stunt. The detective, who always failed to provide a private investigator's license, who came in 2017 with the threats and everything, David, he claimed to monitoring my phone that year as well as in 2019. I didn't really care because there's not nothing too exciting to see. But when his attention on a woman named Isela Villanueva became so inappropriate, I felt very uncomfortable. Shortly before she vanished from my life, Isela told me on my father's phone line, because this was before I bought my own. By the way, when I bought my own, dad freaked out and told me to return it. Dad, you suck. He's all told me, the only reason I don't kill myself is my little brother. And I want to say that that little brother kid's my fucking hero. I hope their family has a wonderful life ahead of them. Anyway, the day I saved this chick, got her into witness protection, I first checked the court records to make sure they weren't forcing her to take any other legal actions on me like they forced her in June. I was following a Farzine. She ran in and served me with a domestic violence restraining order. I have no idea what she even accused me of because I'm not domestic violent. I'm, I guarantee you, no matter how much she hates me, she will tell you that I am a safe, good man who cares about her. Anyway, so Peter in 2017 always communicated with me through his assistant, Agnes Alceda, okay? In emails and stuff. A month after this young lady vanished from my life and David was obsessively calling about her and stuff, there was a custody battle over that young little boy. And the judge was A. Veronica Saceda. I'm not going to say right now whether or not I've confirmed this is the same person because I'm interested to see Peter's response. Peter's responses have been a tool for this entire investigation. This shit's on YouTube and Instagram too because I'm tired of being dicked around while these people fucking after tear systematically tearing apart my life just to save an 18-year-old ex-girlfriend and show her how valuable she was to me. I'm sick of being dicks around. I'm sick of these people slandering my character. I'm sick. No, you know what? I'm well. But you know what? I was hurting for a really long time and now I lost her, I think. And that's okay. She, she deserves a good life and whatever she wants. But I lost my cool from a long time. And I need some goddamn justice, deliverance, and knows that I busted to be held responsible immediately. Thank you, Mr. Mark Harvey. Sorry that this shit's all public, but you're like the fifth investigation right now into these people between law enforcement and private ones and shit. And at this point, I'm just blowing all this shit up like Afghanistan until somebody fucking stands up for my eyes, because shit, I was a teacher for over 10 years. I'll talk myself all the way to the bank. 